Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at saving the planet one step at a time with Microsoft's Ocean Plastic Mouse. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video we're taking a look at Microsoft's stab at basically cleaning up the ocean one little bit at a time. This is Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse. This is basically a Bluetooth mouse based pretty much essentially on the Microsoft Pocket Bluetooth mouse, but they've changed the outer shell. So they've basically used about 20% of ocean recyclable plastics, which I think in some respects should be applauded. Although, let's be honest, it is only 20%. That leaves uh, basically 80% of the rest of it being just regular plastics. It's a step in the right direction, but I think they're possibly over-egging their... Uh, green credentials there somewhat but let me know what you think in the comment section i'm sure this is actually going to be one of those very polarizing products anyway so what is this mouse bluetooth mouse pocket sized very very lightweight around about 84 grams with the battery works on bluetooth 4.0 4.2 and bluetooth 5.0 in the low energy mode so it's going to save yourself some battery talking of batteries it takes a single double a battery which they quote can last up to 12 months so Certainly you're going to be saving some energy there. The Bluetooth has a quoted range of somewhere in the region of about 10 metres, although they do stipulate that in some office environments you may be reduced down to 5 metres, but realistically, who's going to be using a mouse 5 metres away from their display? Certainly not me. So we're going to go ahead now, do a quick unboxing of this, and uh, show you what it's all about. There are some practical tests towards the end of the video, so if you want to hear what the switches are like, what the sensors are like, and also what the accuracy is like, then keep watching to find out more. So starting off with the packaging, now also being somewhat of a green type product, all the packaging is uh, completely recyclable and is basically kind of wood pulp and cardboard. The outer packet itself is actually cardboard as well, and on the front obviously it says what it is, ocean plastic mouse, shell made with 20% recyclable ocean plastics, and you can get a good idea of what the product actually looks like. More of the recycling blurb on the side there. On the back, yep. You guessed it, even more recycling blurb. There is actually a little tear off, which I've already done to actually open the box. So there isn't any plastic film or anything on this. This is literally how it comes. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So taking this bit off, just unclip that. And then the whole box kind of comes apart. So it's actually nice, totally recyclable. The actual inner carton itself, again, totally recyclable and has got the Microsoft logo embossed. And also on the back, it's got their recyclable logo there, which is basically plastered on the mouse as well. So this is just cardboard, very much reminiscent of kind of Apple packaging, uh, around about the sort of the 4 and the 4S kind of range, that sort of thing. Does the job, and you can see we've got the mouse in here as well. You do also get an extra load of uh, paperwork, as you'd expect with products these days. So you get your regulatory stuff, and also you get a little pull-out pamphlet, which again tells you how to set things up, and basically tells you even more about how much they've saved the planet by using recyclable plastic. Maybe just have a QR code. You don't necessarily need all of this stuff. You're trying to get across a green message. Maybe uh, ditch some more of this. So let's take a look at the mouse itself. Now the mouse itself is actually relatively small. Uh, dimensions I'll put on the screen for you now, but you're looking at 100 mil by 58 mil by 38 mil. So this is actually a relatively compact mouse going to be perfect for those of you with laptops and traveling around etc you can just tuck this in your bag uh, or in your pocket something like that it's going to be absolutely fine again because it works with bluetooth it also supports swift pair technology which is built into most windows devices these days from windows uh, 10 upwards i believe it is so windows 10 windows 11 it might be backwards compatible with windows 8.1 i'm not entirely sure but basically it means yeah once it's in range turn it on and it will seamlessly connect you don't have to go through the pairing process or the connection process it will just appear as a working device, which is yeah, pretty awesome. The mouse itself has three buttons, so you've got your normal left and right click buttons, you've also got a center click button, and you've obviously got the scroll wheel, which you can see there, which is done in a, uh, a kind of sort of aquatic blue, I would call it. Um, it's not quite green, it's not quite blue, it's somewhere in between, but certainly is actually a very nice partner, so if you are trying to save the planet somewhat, maybe consider pairing this with one of Microsoft's older keyboards. It actually does look quite nice together. So anyway, looking closer at the mouse itself, so you can see we've got this kind of speckled design on there. That is due to obviously the recycled nature of it. So obviously recycled plastics aren't perfect in their color. Um, 
I guess if you go for certain colors, possibly you could get away with it. I think it's actually a really nice design. The plastic itself is actually a very unusual kind of satin finish, and actually it's got a really nice grip to it. You'd expect it to be relatively shiny, being obviously it's plastic, but there's a really nice grip to it, and it does feel particularly nice in the hand, and it's comfortable for all types of use, so whether you're a claw grip, palm grip, all that kind of stuff, you shouldn't have any issues at all. So on the side, we've got the... There's a very small indentation there for grip, and also you've got the Ocean Plastics logo on the side there. On the back, we've got the Microsoft logo. On this side, nothing at all. When we get around to the bottom, so you've got two glide pads, one at the front and one at the back. Something which is a little bit unusual is a very off-center tracking section. So the laser itself uses the red tracking technology, although it does actually light up blue, as we'll see when we turn it on shortly. The battery cover here, comes off very easily and it does actually come with a Duracell battery pre-installed. All you need to do is to remove this little plastic tag and then it will become active. To turn the device on for the first time, you can press the button for a second and it will basically come to life. If you want to pair the device or repair it with another device, then you can just press and hold the button for about three seconds and it should go into Bluetooth pairing mode. As you can see now, it's flashing away in pairing mode. So you can pair it with whichever Bluetooth device you choose. Something it doesn't come with, which is uh, slightly unusual, I guess, but kind of a sign of the times and also keeping down costs and recycling, it doesn't come with a Bluetooth receiver. So if you want to use this with a non-Bluetooth device, you are going to have to splash out on a Bluetooth dongle of some sort. They are relatively cheap. You can pick them up on things like AliExpress for somewhere in the region of about a pound, or you can pick them up on Amazon for yeah, a couple of quid. Turning the mouse on and off, very simple. All you do, just press for a second and it turns off. For those of you worrying about saving your battery, like I said, they do say that the battery can last up to 12 months. The device itself will actually go into like a sleep state after around about three minutes or so. So if it's just left on your desk and you forget to turn it off, don't worry. It will go into a kind of hibernation mode and won't drain the battery particularly at all. Just move it or click it and it will come back to life as you get with most wireless devices these days. When it comes down to the specifications, we don't get this listed out as if it's some sort of gaming mouse, which well, clearly it isn't, but we do get a listing of 100 points per inch for the actual movement speed, and tracking speed is up to 30 inches per second, so yeah, it's absolutely fine. The red tracking laser, or the laser they're using on there, is good for what they say is 4000 FPS, which I guess you'd call it 4000 DPI, but yeah, it doesn't feel like a gaming mouse, let's put it that way. So is it actually any good in use? So I actually quickly fired this up and did the mouse accuracy test. And let's have a quick look at that now on the screen. So you can see here, this is a 30 second test, just seeing if I can click the points on a screen. Now generally I don't do particularly well on this anyway, because I'm not particularly fast. Although I did find the mouse to be actually quite responsive and the click was very positive. Pretty much 100% accuracy on the actual clicks itself. Although I did find the mouse a little bit more uh, well, let's say less agile to move around quickly from side to side. So certainly for gaming purposes, you're probably not going to enjoy it a great deal, although obviously you can use it as a gaming mouse should you wish to. If you're looking specifically for a gaming mouse, this is one you probably want to avoid. When it comes to normal Windows use, it's absolutely fine. It pairs very easily. Go into settings section, go into Bluetooth, add Bluetooth device, picks it up as a Microsoft Ocean Plastic mouse, and you can do all the usual things. You can swap the left, right mouse buttons, all that kind of stuff. You can also change things like your scrolling speed and also for me personally i increase the tracking speed a little bit because i'm used to gaming mice you can also if you want to which is uh yeah whether or not you want to or not i don't know they do actually have a microsoft ocean plastic theme which you can install on your pc to uh, show everybody your green credentials although whilst i was trying to install it it told me that my microsoft account was installed on way too many pcs so it wouldn't let me do it so i can't actually show you it so that is uh yeah, that is the Microsoft Ocean Plastic mouse in a nutshell, really. It is a super compact, super reliable mouse, and it's got obviously great battery life. It's a step in the right direction in terms of recycling. Although for me personally, I think 20% is probably a little bit too little. They should have aimed for more than that. I like the fact that they've used pretty much all recyclable packaging, and even though there is those card inlays for instructions, etc., at least they're paper and cardboard, so they can be easily recycled. Although they could have got rid of them altogether and just stuck a QR code on there. Maybe that is down to EU regulations. I'm not entirely sure. But certainly, yeah, like I said, it's a step in the right direction. The one thing it does highlight, though, in my opinion, is the fact that this is basically Microsoft's only 
ocean plastic bit of kit. They make a lot of stuff. You've got the surface range, you've obviously got all their other peripherals, keyboards, mice, joysticks, all that kind of stuff. They are a pretty big provider of technology and um, obviously peripherals, that sort of stuff. So it'd be nice to see them increasing this, maybe going to a 50% ocean plastics and maybe increasing the range. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We'll see how things go. Personally for me, I think if you are looking to save the planet one bit at a time, probably one of the best ways of doing it is actually rather than going out and splashing it on a brand new keyboard, maybe try using one of Microsoft's own older keyboards. You might find you actually like it. I certainly do. Anyway, not a bad mouse. Price-wise, we're looking somewhere in the region of about £20 here in the UK. Uh, they are often rebates and offers on, especially on Microsoft's own site. I'll put some links for those in the video description. But let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. I've got to be honest with you, I kind of... It feels very much like one of the slightly cheaper Logitech mice that comes with, like, maybe the MK270 kit. A uh, little bit higher quality and possibly well-built, but certainly in terms of actually feel and use, it does feel very similar to that. Whether or not it's worth the £20 price tag, I'm not entirely sure, but certainly it isn't a bad product, but it isn't anything to get too excited about. Anyway, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.